Hello, this is Beth Forrester and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to create something with our new artistry series in PhotoDuds. The idea behind the artistry series is for you to be able to create images um, kind of as if you were painting onto a, a naked palette. So we're going to use masks, brushes, and el digital elements to create something unique with each and every photograph. Now you can also use these for albums or cards or any other thing that you might like. But I just want to show you this. This is a similar to what we're going to uh, make. It's not going to be exactly the same because that's a great thing about the artistry is every time you use it, it's going to look a little bit different. Um, the other great thing about it too is you can mix and match. You can change the colors and do lots of different things. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my image and I'm going to open up one of the photo masks. So as you can see, I've opened up one of the circular photo masks. Now, my image is um, vertical, so I'm actually going to do uh, create a new photo mask by duplicating this mask and flipping it and doing a few other things to do it to create a vertical look. The first thing I want to do is I want to increase the canvas size because I want to actually make myself a lot of area behind it to, to create and add some of the different items to the photograph. So the first thing I'm going to do, I want to make this more of a vertical. So I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to duplicate this layer. So we now have two image masks and go ahead and drag this down and tilt it around so that I can uh, create a little more vertical look. I do kind of want it a little off center. so. All right, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to go back here to the bottom one and get myself a little there. So now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and start dragging the photographs in. A lot of times I drag the photograph in first and then start messing around with the mask until I get what I like, but I felt like this was easier to sort of see what I was actually doing with the photo mask. So the one thing you're going to do is once you drag your photo in, I f go ahead and duplicate it so that you can get one of each of these photographs in the mask area. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this into the mask and clip the top layer into its top mask. Now, by clicking on both of those layers only, not the mask layers, just the image layers, I can then start moving her around um, in that in those two masks. Sorry, I was thinking for a second. <laughs> ah. Okay, so now I've got her in a place that I like pretty well. Now the one thing you want to do is you don't want to um, start moving the, the layers independently. You, like I said, you need to click on both of those layers and move them in those masks because if you can see then we'll just start getting like a different look there that I'm sure that we don't want unless we're going for something truly, truly abstract. Um, I have created some ab really nice abstract pieces with some of these. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back in here and we're going to create a new layer, drag it underneath because I'm going to start basically painting behind her. Um, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a brush and I've already loaded the brushes from this artistry um, set into the brushes palette. So all I need to do is create that new layer and I'm going to go in and click on a brush find the one that I want, this circular one, and then I'm going to actually go in too and pick a color that's in her image there so that I can go ahead and, and stamp this in here. So I can see it is right there. Now the great thing about this, if you go ahead and do it at 100%, then you have the, pa the power to change it, make it lighter, darker, anything you want. Um, I want to actually go ahead to and create another layer here so that I can actually go ahead and make the background white so we can see what we're doing. I'm just going to do a fill layer and fill with white so that we can actually see as we're applying here a little bit better. So now at this point I just have her um, in the two masks and I have the one brush layer behind her. I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab a couple of other different brushes and create a few other little interesting elements 
So again, I'm probably going to go ahead now and change this to black so that I can, if I want to change and, and change the opacity, I can make it gray or I can leave it black or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this on um, and we'll move it around. Maybe make it, we can make it smaller, larger. I can duplicate it, don't really want to. Go grab a different layer. I do all of these on different layers. I usually save them out as well so that I can um, use them later on if I so desire. So what I'll do is I've actually, it'll create sort of a template and then um, later on I can, you know, use it however I want to. Just clip an image in and it's pretty much done. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to stamp this on. Now if I want to move this in front of her, I just move it up to the top. If I want to keep it behind this layer only, behind her, and over top of, of uh, this larger gray circle here, I can do that. So you can see you have a lot of play here by doing each of these elements on a different layer, so that way to sort of create on the fly. Now the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to go in and open one of the elements here. So I want to open, I want to create this really um, directional look to it. Um, you can see these are blue. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and drag them in as blue. And drag them behind the last layer. I'm going to go ahead and tilt them. Enlarge them. Now you could leave these blue. I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and create, um, just desaturate them so that they're now gray. And you can start playing around with these. I like to just do a lot of different little things. Um, sometimes I'll duplicate it and move it just a little bit. You can see to just sort of make it a little um, wider or more interesting. Um, I can duplicate it again. Go up here. I want to make something that comes out a little stronger at the top. But I like these because it gives me direction. It moves the viewer through the image so we're actually looking at her face um, and gives just a lot more interest to the photograph. So I'm going to go in here. I'm about done. I'm just going to add a couple of things. We're going to add the little butterflies that you saw when we opened it up. In here. I don't like that one. Let's try a different one. You can see it's really easy just to change and, and do what something different. That's better. Now you can see if you go back and looked at the at the image, it's not going to be exactly the same, but that's okay. I'm duplicating that butterfly again. And I'm just going to rotate it and I can turn it on, off, I could drop the opacity down. I mean there's just so much that you can do with this. It just makes it fun to create and play. Let's do add one more. It's going to get a different brush. So I'm going to add some little uh, splatters and things like that. Now sometimes I'll add these splatters on top of, of the masks and sometimes I'll just add them underneath her. I just kind of like to, to fill in and make a little more visual interest. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here again and grab some of the colors that are in this image. And again, I like that direction that it's going to give. So. I'm going to go in here and actually open up this brush palette. I'm sorry, wrong thing. <laughs> so I'm going to, this is how you're going to rotate your brush. So if you can see now the brush is rotated, this is going to actually rotate. So if you want to flip it, so if you want to sort of flip it and see what you're doing at the time before you actually, um, stamp it on or you could just stamp it on and then rotate it 
afterwards. Go ahead and close this brushes palette out here. Let's do one more right here. So again, this is the time I'm going to just going to rotate it. I can now duplicate it, turn it. So a little more visual interest right in here. So it turned out pretty close to the one that that I showed you from the beginning, but. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun with the artistry series.